what's up, it's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. And today is the demo of the month. And that is going to go to Mortal Wound and Forms of Unreasoning Fear. This is the tour version. Got to see Mortal Wound last week with the Mighty Deceased, x Hoarder, and Violence, good times. Might have gotten a sneak peek at the new album, which just, all I gotta say is pre-order that beast. It's insane. And that's, yeah, you're gonna be stoked. Like, I was like, Oh my goodness. So, I've been kind of, like, really on a mortal wound kick. And Sam, thank you for being super cool and just... I'm so stoked to have, like, a shirt from Forms of Unreasoning Fear as well. Don't get me wrong, I love the gutless split, the full-length wow, but, like, just so good. Support from day one, like, the moment I heard this bad boy, I was like, like, that's, that's what I want out of, like, my death metal. And I, I was, I was telling like, them, that, like, you know, like not, like, not kissing ass, like, yo, like, really, you know. Because I'm sure there's some people that, like, bought this up when it was, you know, super popular and haven't listened to it in about three years. You're fucking up. Seriously, you are totally... Especially if you just randomly were introduced to Mortal Wound, and even Deceased, for that matter. Because I watched a King Fowley interview, and I really... Uh, next time, I, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to try and set it up, because they, they had just started their tour... King's voice, like, I just didn't want to push it. I, I Just because I, I... I knew he was already hurting, and I just didn't want to push it. So, hopefully soon, we, we can set something up. But, like, I fucking love tour promos. I think they're cool as shit. Like, it just not only gives the band something that might have not been reissued in a minute, like this. I can't find, I honestly don't, like, I didn't look for it, but I have the first cassette, like, press, but once the vinyl version came into my hands, it was like, alright, like, this is just... I love how it sounds on vinyl, but, like, again, I've been really attracted lately to the, uh, tour demo, or, like, just this version. It just has this, like, I, I don't know, the extra tape hiss, all that shit that I love about a good death metal release. Hell yeah. But, like, having Mortal Wounds open up an ex hoarder violence package that has Deceased on it as well, they, I'm not, I'm not even joking, like, there was a girl next to me, I, I think she was, said she drove up from Virginia, or something like that, or, I don't remember, honestly. But she asked me if I knew who the first band was. And I kind of was like, yeah, that's why I'm here. 
Like, I'm here to see Mortal Wound. And she was like, really? I'm like, like, I love Deceased, but, uh, and, like, I love Violence. ex Hoarder's sick, but, like, I'm not gonna front. I I'm only really here for Mortal Wound. And uh, I didn't tell the boys that, like, but, yeah. Don't get me, like, it was cool seeing Violence, seeing Pat O'Brien play with ex Hoarder. Because, I, dude, I had no idea. And then Sam was like, yo, they got Pat O'Brien on guitar. I was like, no way. And I'm wearing a Cannibal Corpse, like, the that original logo, Tomb of the Mutilated zip-up I have. So, I, I, I don't know. I felt weird. I felt like that guy. Even though I wasn't at a Cannibal Corpse show, and he's not in Cannibal, I just felt still, I was like... He's probably looking at me like, well, like, you know what I, mean? I I would be like kind of, but he was cool as shit. But I would be like kind of salty, like man. He would just be like, man, like you you really have to stand up front, like take your zip off, ball. Like I would have like probably been like, hey you, take that hoodie off, like <laughs> just. Until we're done playing, but nah, he was cool as shit. But Mortal Wound, here's, okay, to you younger bands that have never done this before, I'm not talking about Mortal Wound. What they did here by getting on a non-traditional death metal tour, like a hybrid tour that's not like, you know some metalcore act. Because, trust me, that's what's awesome about Mortal Wound. They could legitimately play a hardcore festival, win over that entire crowd. Like, 100%. Like, I, I have not a doubt in my mind if you were to put Mortal Wound on, like, FYA Fest... Put them on This Is Hardcore. That whole entire room would be a, a, a war zone. Because I, I never really understood, and no offense to the, like, to Frozen Soul, Sangwa Sugarbug, like, those early, like, Maggot Stomp bands. I always felt, like, Gutless is in Australia, but I always felt like Grave Ascension, Mortal Wound, and Gutless. That was, like, the 100% bangers. And, yeah, I still listen to all three of those demos, but Someone has to reissue the Grave Ascension demo comp on vinyl. Please! Like, seriously, just please! I might hit up my friends that are in another band that have ex-members of that band and be like, Yo, can, like, somebody bootleg it or something? And I don't know. Just because... It's one of those death metal demos where I don't understand why it... I know the band does not exist anymore. But, like, I have tons of demos from bands that are legit obscure. But, like, it, it's still amazing. Just because the band no longer is active doesn't make their back... Like, you know, like... For example, like, Sadistic and ex I always say Sadistic Intent, but they're a good example, too. What's Sadistic Execution? Like, this comp right here, I had a lot of people be like, dude, that's a little too, like, bestial. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, this is, like, the blueprint for that shit. Like, I don't know. I, I love that, like, when I hear something and it's like, what is going on right now aside from awesomeness but I always felt like sadistic execution like I had Magus I, I just I, from the moment I heard it I 
And I, I have fuck, <laughs> fuck, but like, this is gonna be part of the April prize package, by the way. And the seven inch is all colored vinyl, but. 30 years of agonizing the dead. Just the fact that on the hype sticker it says file under fuck. I, I think that's great. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. And I'm sorry. But having, like, the agonizing the dead. Like, having everything, like, before on here is awesome. And then, like I said, I'm cool with, like, you know, giving this to the patron. Yep. That's the only, again, I apologize about that. That's the only bad thing about having a uh, non-automatic turntable. You can't, like, put a record on unless it's, you know, well, not like a demo. You get what I'm saying? Now you can throw a full length on and jump in the shower, but I have a lot of hair to wash, and I actually have been enjoying showering in silence. I know that sounds weird, but yeah, but Mortal Wound, Forms of Unreasoning Fear, this demo, Black Vinyl, MSUO, Maggot Stomp. I pre-ordered the LP from Dark Descent Records, and like I said, I was just, I was lucky enough to get a little sneak peek of the new album, which, like I said, blew me the fuck away, and I have, it was just something, honestly, I've been waiting and waiting for. And, like, seeing their new guitar player and having Sam do vocals without having to play guitars. I was watching videos. Like, I, I was real stoked to see them live. And I feel like they have such a good demo where years from now, this is going to be, like, you know, grotesque infection, obscurity fucking, like, the Afterbirth demo, the Imprecation demos, like, I just feel like this is something that's not just a passing death metal band. Now, there's a lot more to Mortal Wound. Like I said, for, like, a death metal band that I feel could win over pretty much any crowd, like, I'm trying to, like, legitimately think, like, even if I'm going to put them on, like, the wackest show I can think of, like, a band like, I'm sorry, if anybody likes this band, I'm sorry, but, like, this just popped in my head, like, let's say Shadows Fall was like, hey, you guys want to play a show with us? Mortal Wound would... Win that crowd over, and, yeah, like, they can do that, and then, like I said, pretty much win an ex hoarder violence thrash crowd over. It was sick. I haven't seen something like that in a long time. I saw Outer Heaven do it a long time ago. But, just real quick, guys, I want to show you one of the prizes for this month, because the rehearsal demo from 1987 is so good. And, yeah, I just feel like, you know, it's a good prize. And I need to really fix my speakers. I, I apologize, mortal wounds. But let me get back to the subject at hand. Because forms of unreasoning fear, like, again, like I said, from the moment I heard it, I knew 
I was like, all right, this band is something. Like, there's something really cool here, from the samples, to the riffs, to the solos, to the insane vocals. Like, Sam's vocals are so strong. Sorry. I'll fix this. Yeah, I'll have to fix that in a minute. I apologize. That happens sometimes, and when it does, it sucks. But what doesn't suck is the Mortal Wound demo. I don't want to, like, it might be technically an EP. I honestly don't. I should have asked, but for right now, it's a demo. The split with Gutless, uh, I was gutted they were sold out of tapes of that. But, uh, this is just one of those bangers, in my opinion. Like, up there with the Fetid demo, the Mortiferum demo, the Cerebral Rot demo. Um, still waiting on the Corpus Ophel tape. It's been 10 days. More than 10, I don't know, man. Hopefully, th there's not a problem. Because I know that the Witch Vomit, because that's with the Witch Vomit LP, and I know that shipped. Because a friend of mine was like, yo, did you get your copy yet? I was like, I haven't even got a, sh a tracking label or shit, whatever. But... When it comes to gnarly, modern death metal, I just really feel like Mortal Wound is at this place now where, yeah, they're gonna start making some big moves, and it's it's awesome. Like, I'm really, really stoked for the future of... Did I rearrange this with G first? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being stupid. I just, like, drew a dead blank while I stood up. Like, here's... Where the hell is the split? Because here's the gutless demo. Also, Mass Extinction. E-fucking-sential. But, uh, where the... Oh... Fuck, I brought that to get signed, but it didn't get signed, here it is, oh good, I thought I left it at the venue, I just, I just almost freaked out, yes, mortal wound, like no peace in my Shangri-La, like, oh my goodness, and look at that cover, but to me, this is where they really... You know, let everybody know, like, hey, we have something special in the oven. And when it comes, you're gonna, you're gonna know, always loved that pro, that's what I mean, great promo photos, like, hails to Sam, Pete, Matthias, and, uh, Devin, Devin Baldwin, hell yeah. And uh, Karina Manzan, I love how her art's connected with Mortal Wound. Now, I, I, I'm saying now, and even on Forms of Unreasoning Fear. I don't know if she did the, or, I don't, I don't know if they did the Gutless. Off the top of my head, I'm drawing a blank. But, like, Cerebral Rot... Uh, you might recognize the art, the artist. They have a pretty sick style. It's good stuff. But demo of the month, form of unreasoning fear, and uh, this one is on color.
Mortal Wound on one side, Gutless on the other. Banger right here. Like legit banger. Do not sleep on this shit. If, I mean, I know it might be hard to get right now, but, like, it's just one of those releases where you need to at least hear it. Same with Forms of Unreasoning Fear, Mortal Wound. Um, I'm not sure when the tour is over, but they are sold out of tapes. So, I'm sorry, but... Demo of the month, Mortal Wound, A plus death metal for modern death metal. It's above and beyond like what you need to really like do. I I, I really just feel like they're gonna be the next big thing where I feel like they should have been a big thing before all those other bands, but I understand life happens, but just when it came down to music and stuff, I really was always kind of confused. Like, yo, like, you know, how come Mortal Wound isn't, like... You know, because, again, put Mortal Wound on a Cannibal Corpse tour? Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. Like, this is a band that can play with pretty much anyone. Win, and win a portion of the crowd over that digs death metal. And that's all you really need to do, but also you're spreading the word. And... That's awesome. That's why tour tour tapes, I think, are sick as shit. I, I love when I get, like, tour tapes. But, if you like your death metal, just down-tuned, heavy as fuck, and brutal. Mortal Wound, Forms of Unreasoning Fear. Thank you to Sam. Thank you to Mortal Wound. Thank you for watching. And yeah, thanks again for watching, you fucking rule, hails, and peace. Yeah.